alongside my fellow Texan, uh, Pete Olson from Texas, talk about what's going on in a great state there. Well, thank you, my dear friend from South Carolina, and those kind words about being an honorary Texan. We Texans take no offense to the comments you gave to our colleague from Louisiana about that being your home away from home with all the ties between South Carolina and Texas. The Battle of the Alamo, the commander, William Barrett Travis, who died for our freedom, came from South Carolina. Two football players who would take our Houston Texans to the Super Bowl, Javon Clowney and Deshaun Watkins, are products of South Carolina. So I'm happy to join my friend and the Heat team tonight to talk about the American energy renaissance. Texans like to call this the era of America crushing OPEC's monopoly and finally tearing down Richard Putin's wall of energy control over former Soviet Union states. Nations like Estonia. My wife and I went there about two years ago on a Baltic cruise. We saw happy happy people, like people in that picture. As my friend knows, that's a merchant vessel called Independence. It's been loaded with liquefied natural gas from Sabine Pass, Louisiana, a company known as Chenier, our first LG export plant in American history. Two years ago, that ship pulled up in the capital of Estonia. And as you can see, thousands and thousands of people waved flags and said, welcome, welcome, welcome to Estonia, American liquefied natural gas. Because they know that's not just a product, that is their freedom from Mr. Putin's autonomy and brutality. They know we exported liquid American freedom to Estonia. And in contrast, our port in Houston is 52 miles long. If I got five people walk, walk out and see a tanker ship pull up, that'd be huge. Our battleship, the battleship Texas, is over 100 years old. She's about to move to be repaired down to be more permanently in Galveston Island. If I got 10 people, maybe 20, to watch our battleship be moved, that'd be awesome. Those people came out in droves because they know their control by Mr. Putin is over. Let's talk about a great new ally called India. Their Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, is coming to Houston September 22nd. I've met the man four times. They're a growing economy, 1.4 billion people, they have our values. They have energy. They have none that they can use in a clean, efficient manner. They've got a lot of coal, but coal is dirty. They have no natural gas. They have no other fossil fuels, no oil. They can't have a pipeline to deliver those products to the nation. Coming from the West, that pipeline has to go through Iran and Pakistan, enemies. To the north, the Himalaya Mountains. If you build a pipeline over 18,000 feet elevation, God bless you. That's the eighth wonder of the world. To the east, a place in the world that's falling apart, Bangladesh. Their only solution to have cleaner air and energy independence is American LNG coming via the sea, a ship. One showed up last year loaded with LNG, again, from Sabine Pass. We signed a contract, private sector to private sector in India, to deliver 14.4 megatons of LNG to India for over 20 years. That means there's no way we, the government, can involve that here in America or India. Private sector, private sector, freedom. And finally, my friend, 
I have to brag about Texas. Liberal friends want to address climate change with carbon capture. And we're okay with that. But it must be viable in our economy. Must be viable in a free market. A company back home called NRG has a power plant 10 miles from my house called the Paris Power Plant. Paris generates energy from eight sources, four sources of natural gas and four coal generators. Wanting to improve their business and make their air cleaner, give them more money, help out the world, on their own, they reached out to a Japanese company to build a carbon capture system that grabs over 95% of CO2 up one of the coal stacks. But my friend, that technology was very, very expensive, over $1 billion. Our friends want NRG to swallow that product and bury that money in the ground, that, that captured carbon in the ground. That means you'll bury $1 billion in the ground. How can energy do, energy do that? By paying those rates on to the rate payer. Unacceptable. What did they do? They grabbed that CO2 and have a pipeline that goes 85 miles southeast to an old depleted oil field. It's like fracking fluid. That CO2 puts more pressure, oil comes out, we sell in the market, it's viable. In short, energy dominance by America makes my own state of Texas great, it makes America greater, and it makes the whole world the greatest it can be. Drill, baby drill, frack, baby frack, export, baby export. I thank my friend, I yield back. I thank the gentleman.